Pranam everyone. In our past interactions, we have understood why TCAT or how TCAT can help a child, right? Choosing the right career stream, right option. Today, what we are going to discuss is more around the report. What kind of a report a child can expect if the child appears for TCAT? And then also how will this report be understood and how it can help a child make the right decision. So, let us jump straight into it. Teola Career Aptitude Test TCAT 2023, it is scheduled on October 22, 2023. TCAT report comprises of four key parts. Let us delve into the first part straight away. This part is Scholastic Aptitude Test. What is Scholastic Aptitude? Scholastic Aptitude is referring to the subjects, it is referring to what you are studying, the more the core academics, right? So, what do we evaluate a child on? We evaluate a child on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, English and mental ability. Now, this is not just a simple test. What it actually does is, once the test is taken, it is an MCQ kind objective test. Once the test is taken, we create a very advanced cohort analysis. In that cohort analysis, we convert the scores of a child into percentiles. That means, we understand relatively how the child is doing vis-a-vis -vis his or her peer group. Because ultimately, if you think about it, that is what matters. What is the relative performance of a child in a particular peer group? So, for example, if a child has a scored 64.8 percentile in English, that means the child is doing better than 64.8 percent students in his peer group. Similarly, we obtain these scores for all subjects. Then, these scores independently are of some value. Can they be of higher value? Of course, each examination has a different combination of subjects. Also, each examination has a different difficulty level, assigns different weightages to different subjects. What we do is, for the common comparative examination, we run heuristics on the percentiles achieved by the students. And then, this difficulty level of the exam, different weightage of the subjects is overlaid on the raw scores to arrive at what we call projected percentile performance in comparative tests at Teola. We also take into account our past experiences of students. So, for example, this child has undergraduate management 88.2 percentile, then 82.1 for law, so on and so forth. There are two more parameters which we further work on. One, what is the comparative intensity of the exam? The child may be extremely good or average in a certain subject. If the But what matters is, how much is the competition? Right? Because the performance will then be evaluated against the peer group. The second part is, what is the attractiveness of a particular profession? Would an IM be a better degree than a tier 2 BBA? Of course. Right? So, these two things are further overlaid on these scores and then we arrive at comparative exam potential index for scholastic aptitude only. So, for this particular child, the first choice becomes a tier 2 UG management college then IIMs, then law, then medical and finally engineering. So, all these things have been arrived at when the child takes this scholastic test at in the TNTCAT 2023. And here is the summary result of a scholastic aptitude test for the child. Now, let us move to the second part. We have evaluated how a child can do scholastically in particular competitive examinations. But then, there is a very, very critical part to success in life, happiness in life, which is, do I have the personality traits? Would a child have those personality characteristics which are required to be successful in a particular career stream? So, that is where we come, we talk about our personality characteristics. This is a psychometric test, which is a part of TCAT only, which is then overlaid on the scholastic aptitude that we have already conducted. So, for example, this particular child, his personality was identified as an ESTJ. This particular test, the psychometric test, is a very advanced test and is used by multiple MNCs and international colleges. So, what does ESTJ stand for? ESTJ stands for Extroverted Sensing, Thinking and Judging. To summarize, we also give the prioritization of what will be high priority means the jobs which are more suitable to the personality of the child as compared to jobs which will be a slightly less suitable. 
summary of personality character six for example the ideal work environment for an estj is highly structured with a clear set of expectations and an organized authority structure now this particular child whose personality type has been identified as an estj could do extremely well as an operations manager could do well as a project manager financial manager hotel manager so management right public administrator again a part of management stock broker credit analyst office manager this is a high priority job means the overlap between the child's characteristics and the characteristics required to be happy and successful in a, in a job that overlap is high that's why we give it high priority medium priority would be a pharmacist a doctor a dentist an engineer so for each child after doing a scholastic aptitude test we understand the personality of the child and figure out what could be potentially attractive career options for that child so now after finding out the scholastic aptitude test and the personality type there is one critical thing which is whether the child really would enjoy a particular job or not right so there are work interest patterns there are kids who may like working with hands like machines a lot there would be kids who like creativity a lot there would be kids who like to work with people and then there would be kids who like to work under timelines right so there are different kind of things which kids may like so after doing a scholastic and personality let's understand what is the work interest of a child and that's where our third psychometric test come in which is identifies the work interest patterns now for this particular child for example we concluded that the child is an investigative thinker there are multiple things work interest pattern you can be a realistic builder you can be an investigative thinker artistic creator social helper enterprising persuader and a conventional organizer again what will the child enjoy it is kind of debriefed a little bit a person is classified as a thinker when he or she is mostly interested in jobs that involve theory research and scientific inquiry now once this is done again there are established heuristics basis which for different kind of work interests there are different kind of jobs which could be prioritized so we do the same thing here so the way we did in the personality type we have a high priority job coming for this particular personality type which is investigative thinker it could be an economist it could be a management consultant financial investor or a lawyer then there are medium priority jobs marine biologist zoologist doctor psychologist engineer so on right so we have done three things so far we have understood the scholastic aptitude of the child the subjective aptitude we understood the personality characteristics of the child and now we also have understood what interests the child so what kind of work is the child interested in now all these three things working at different levels having very different subjective approaches will be combined in our final conclusion set let's move to the next sheet now so let's understand how these three things are combined to give us a phenomenal result which will help the child choose the right option so all those three things that we've just discussed were then combined in different ways again very advanced algorithms have been used to combine those things to arrive for at the objective priorities of a child so for this particular child the first priority came out to be law so he can be a great lawyer followed by general management right so general management kind of jobs general management kind of career followed by banking financial management and investment the person can also succeed as a banker these scores also tell the relative differences right so the difference between bfsi banking and finance versus law is not that much right then followed by hospitality marketing medical media nda fashion engineering government bca mca so this is not about identifying only the difference between medical and engineering this is about the whole gamut of options available today for the child and we cover almost everything that the child can think of doing after grade 12 and help prioritize the entire landscape available for the child this is then converted into what kind of tests competitive exams can be prioritized so for with this kind of a priority list as a career we can prioritize clat as an exam we can prioritize ip mat du jat npat set jep mat christ cvt and sat second priority and then finally we have some more right so after doing the assessment 
we tell the child what kind of career options the child can think for and then it also gets translated into what kind of competitive examinations would the child be required to prepare for. This can further on a one on one counseling can be converted into how to prepare for these examinations, what kind of institutes can help you, whether Teola can help you or not. All these things can then further be discussed with our counselors in school. So children and parents, I think over the last few years with multiple iterations that we have done, we have been able to put together a wonderful tool which could genuinely help children choose the right path. Success on any path will ultimately be dependent on how sincere you are, how hardworking you are and how honest you are to the process. But a push in the right direction can definitely help the child. You want to go to Delhi, but you start moving on a path to Gwalior, you can't reach Delhi. Or even if you would, it will take a lot of time. So, these kind of tools are like, you know what, maps. They can tell you what is the right direction if you want to go to Delhi. And that's how TCAT will help your child. It will be the compass for your child, which will show your child the right direction where the child can put in the effort. But parents and children, remember, Without effort, nothing can be achieved. So, this is just a tool to show you the direction. More important thing is that you need to work hard, you need to be sincere and again as I said, you need to be honest to the process. So, I see you on 22nd October 2023 for Teola Career Aptitude Test. Good luck.